I hate so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called Airport 1975. This is going to be another Karen Black flick. It's got all-star lineup. I liked it better than Airport 1970. And the story is a little different, although George Kennedy plays the same character, essentially. And Charlton Heston takes over... Burt Lancaster's role as sort of the uh, macho guy who's directing traffic, no pun intended. And Karen Black is the stewardess who flies the plane when, when there's a big gaping hole in the cockpit. Um, I have to admit, Karen and Black looks generally genuinely scared in this movie i'll give her credit i still dislike this movie i'm giving it two out of five stars the only enjoyable part was when the co-pilot got ejected from the cockpit after uh, getting smacked head on by uh, some private airplane pilot who had a heart attack and he just smacked the uh, the 747 head on um, that was pretty comical, the whole collision scene. Um, I don't mean to say that uh, that I was sadistic thinking that the co-pilot and Eric Estrada, the other guy who was the co-pilot, were uh, died a funny death. It was just it just looked completely ridiculous guy flying out the window it looked comical to me uh, I don't know it's just the way the scene was done it was just and there's a lot of blood and stuff I guess that's why it gets a, a PG rating compared to the airport G rating but um, yeah it's basically the same similar kind of plot to the first movie I mean uh, you know typical disaster movie type of uh, plot going on here so Linda Blair needs a uh, needs a kidney transplant she looks like she's about I don't know 10 years old it's about the same time she did uh, exorcist if I'm not mistaken and uh, and she's so, so she's on the airplane to get a kidney transplant and uh like I said, the uh, private airplane pilot gets drunk. He smacks into the plane while it's on uh, while it's on its way to Salt Lake City, which wasn't the original destination. I believe the original destination was California, but um, so um, so Karen Black, the stewardess, is kind of. Uh, flying the plane with instructions from uh, Charlton Heston and another air traffic control guy and um, she's doing a pretty good job but she looks scared to death like I said and uh, Gloria Swanson is on the plane are you kidding me Gloria Swanson from uh, Sunset Boulevard <sighs> She didn't look like she aged at all from uh, 20 years. She must have been getting a lot of plastic surgery and stuff. Then the nuns are kind of making fun of her, like, oh, stay away from that Hollywood weird person. Um, and then Gloria Swanson is totally on onto her uh, self aggrandizing kind of uh, I'm a goddess and I'm going to record everything I know about my experiences with this uh, reporter gal who sits next to her. Like they're going to write a book or something. And she talks about Cecil, Beale, Cecil B. DeMille. It, it reminded me of uh, Sunset Boulevard, how she was doing the same dang thing. Sunset Boulevard. Um, there are a bunch of drunk guys 
Norman Fell, Sid Caesar, and uh, the other guy from Con Man. I forget his name. Uh, that wasn't Con Man. It was something else. Anyways, I've seen him in a bunch of movies. There are a lot of familiar faces in this one, a lot of TV uh, actors in this one. There's even Jim Plunkett of the Oakland Raiders on this airplane. So quite an eclectic group of uh, passengers. Um, yeah, it was a little better than the first one, but I, I still disliked it. Two out of five stars. Um, Charleston Charlton Heston comes to the rescue after one guy tries unsuccessfully to uh, to kind of uh, tether himself to a helicopter and, and drop into the hole on the car cockpit. Uh, that guy fails. He ends up uh, crashing to the ground. And then uh, Charlton Heston gives it a shot. I don't want to spoil too much of the ending, but... Yeah, that's pretty much the plot. I mean, uh, not much going on in this one. Just uh, some other kind of disaster formula. Um, yeah, I really couldn't get into this. I couldn't really get into the characters. Um, I didn't understand what Charlton Heston relationship with uh, Karen Black was. He keeps calling her baby, but I don't know if they're like boyfriend, girlfriend or husband wife or concubine cheating husband I don't, they, that part wasn't real clear and um, and so yeah at least in the first movie the uh, relationships were kind of more clear um, by the way I'm wearing this suit because I just got out of divorce court wasted five minutes of my life there Anyways, uh, not a good flick, uh, but better than uh, Airport for that very reason of the, the crazy scene where the, the co-pilot gets ejected from his seat and he flies out the uh, cockpit through the gaping hole that the uh, drunk, not drunk, uh, heart attack uh, private pilot victim created with his uh, private jet. So... Anyways, it's kind of ironic too because uh, his, his his wife was kind of worried about the weather, asked him to turn back, and he didn't turn back. So uh, I guess he had some kind of sales meeting that's only once a year. Um, what else can I say about this movie? Just people talking, you know. Um, the nun plays the guitar for Linda Blair. She starts smiling, and uh, the nun just happens to be a famous singer. Uh, don't remember her name. And, um, yeah, lots of stuff like that. Just uh, Eric Estrada is total male chauvinist pig guy uh, trying to hit on the, all the uh, stewardesses, including Karen Black. Um so it was kind of interesting to see him uh, as a young young man in some of his early stuff before he went on chips and uh, yeah, a lot of other famous actors in this one or recognizable faces at least. I tried to put all the all the actors that I could recognize in the description box, uh, so hopefully that helps. But uh, anyways. <clears throat> Seems like a lot of wasted talent in this movie. I guess they were looking for work. Um, and uh, they were getting paid because people wanted to see this movie. I don't know. Um, it was it was pretty bad. Not as bad as the first one on this disc. Uh, it's a double bill, of course. So, um, yeah. Can't say recommended. Can't say check it out. I'm going to post the trailer in the description box. Uh, just skip this disc in general unless you want to see the fast forward to the part where uh, 
where the accident occurs in the in this movie it's pretty darn cheesy um, so there's that uh, that was the only good part that I could recommend and that's the end of my review later so